The Ninja Creamy is an ice cream maker, but it's not exactly an ice cream maker, if you catch my drift. So today I'm sharing with you the pros and cons of the Ninja Creamy versus a traditional ice cream maker. So let's talk about one of the biggest pros of the traditional ice cream maker, and that is the batch size. So with the Ninja Creamy, you can make between 16 and 24 ounces, depending on if you have the traditional or the deluxe version. Whereas with a traditional ice cream maker, like this Cuisinart one, you can make up to two quarts in one batch. So I see this as kind of a pro or a con because this one doesn't do very well with small batches. So if you wanna make something that's a little bit more unique or you don't want two quarts of ice cream, then this one can be a little bit of more of a nuisance rather than something that's really nice to have. Whereas with the Ninja Creamy, it's really nice to just make something really small. If you have like leftovers of an ingredient, you just wanna make some unique flavor that you wanna test out this is really nice. But if you have a larger family or if you're only going to be making ice cream for specific holidays or events, then a traditional ice cream maker is definitely probably the way to go since you can make much more ice cream in one batch. Something else that I find to be maybe kind of a pro is that you can use a lot more kind of traditional techniques and recipes with an ice cream maker. There are so many recipes and bases online that are very reliable and that taste good and you just know that it works. If you like the feeling of really nurturing a recipe from the concept and the recipe stage all the way to the finished product, like you like standing over the stove and you know, tempering in the eggs and adding the vanilla beans and like really cooking, then using an ice cream maker is really a very traditional experience. It's very fun. The Ninja Creamy, you just like throw ingredients into a pint and then freeze it. So it's not like cooking. It's not really super traditional in that way. So if you like that experience of making ice cream, then definitely a Cuisinart or some other ice cream maker is the way to go. So one of the biggest pros of using a traditional ice cream maker is just the technique. So the ice cream maker works by churning the base very slowly in a cold environment and that helps prevent ice crystals. And so that makes a really smooth and creamy ice cream finished product. And the last pro that I can see for an ice cream maker is definitely the cost. So you can get the Ninja Creamy for a pretty good deal. I think between 160 and 180 is usually a really good or you know average deal for this seven in one version. The more deluxe ones obviously cost a little bit more. They're starting I think in the 200 ranges. However, this ice cream maker is like less than $100. So it's really nice to have something that's you know pretty inexpensive for the kind of appliance it is. And that's definitely a pro. Now let's talk about some of the pros for the Ninja Creamy. The biggest pro I see is that it has a lot of different settings. So this is the seven in one setting, whereas the ice cream maker has one setting. It's on and off. So this one has more variety. It's very versatile. You can use it for multiple things, multiple uses. And I think that's definitely a good pro. The next thing that I think is a really good thing about the Ninja Creamy is that it's really easy. After you get over kind of the initial learning curve, it's so simple to just like throw things into a pint. You can even use one ingredient, just freeze it and throw it in the Ninja Creamy and you can usually get really good results like no matter what. Whereas with the traditional ice cream maker, you can't just throw in like a protein drink or some Greek yogurt into the base, turn it on and expect to have ice cream in a short amount of time later. Something else that I find to be a huge pro is honestly just how customizable it is. There are so many like Facebook groups out there that have so many creative and just genius ideas on ways that you can make custom ice cream or like a frozen treat that is part of any diet out there. You can do something for anyone. Dietary restriction, physical restriction, anything like that, there's something for everyone. So the Ninja Creamy is amazing for making low carb ice cream, low sugar or no sugar, low fat, sugar-free, keto, gluten-free, using milk alternatives, you can make this all at home and it's so much cheaper to make at home versus buying something. Because I don't know about you, but if you've ever tried to buy 
low carb or keto ice cream or like any type of dietary like specialized ice cream at the store it is so expensive and honestly i have found very few things that taste good so it's fun to just make things at home where you know the ingredients are good that you know that you're safe with them and it's really fun to make as well something that's important to me is that the parts are dishwasher safe that's a really big deal to me because i hate doing dishes and everything in the ice cream maker has to be hand washed maybe that's not a deal breaker to you but i do think that's a pro for the ninja creamy if you're tight on space the ninja creamy is definitely smaller it's very slim compared to the ice cream maker you can see here the size comparison this is probably the thickness of about a toaster and this is a large square the ice cream maker is a little bit lighter than the ninja creamy but it's smaller as far as counter space goes and i think that's a huge pro i've talked about this in a couple of my different ninja creamy videos but i think one of the biggest nice things about the ninja creamy is that you can experiment with small batches and so it's not a huge commitment to make something if it doesn't work out and it's not very good you can try a smaller quantity of a recipe and you can just see if you like it or it kind of experiment with things and if you don't like it it's like a couple scoops of ingredients rather than a giant batch in an ice cream maker. The last pro that I really think is important to note is that the Ninja Creamy is fast. Once you freeze the base for 24 hours, it spins in just a couple of minutes and you have ice cream that's ready in a couple of minutes. Whereas with the ice cream maker, you have to freeze your bowl for 24 hours. Then you have to make your base and then chill it for probably, you know, eight to 12 or 24 hours. And then you have to process it. And that usually takes about 25 to, I don't know, however long minutes. And that's just a really long process versus just freezing and spinning. This one, you have to wait a lot longer. And then even after you process it for 25 minutes, you have like a soft serve, like milkshake consistency. And then usually they tell you to freeze that in a separate container so then you can get ice cream. Like that's like a two or three day process in order to get one batch of ice cream. So the Ninja Creamy is really fast and I really like that. Now it's time to talk about what you actually came here for. It's some of the cons. So first off, let's start out with the ice cream maker. I think the biggest con is that there are no timers or indicators on this machine. As you can see here, there is an on and off switch and that's it. There's nothing telling you when it's almost done, how it's looking, if the bowl is getting too warm, nothing like that to help you make any type of educated decisions on your ice cream, on your food. So it's one setting, one function, it only does one thing. Another con which I talked about a little bit earlier was that you have to freeze the bowl before you make your ice cream. You have to make and chill your bacon before you make your ice cream. You have to churn your ice cream. And then after you churn your ice cream, you have to freeze the ice cream before you can eat it. And that is just way too long of a process to enjoy ice cream. So it does take a little bit longer. On the same note, it takes a lot longer to process. So even on the sticker, it says that in 25 minutes, you can have ice cream versus the Ninja Creamy, which you can have ice cream in like five minutes or less. Next, also I touched on this is that it is a larger appliance. It's taking up more space. And for something that only does one thing, it might not be worth it. The next thing is that since you have to do a larger quantity of base, you have more invested into your ice cream, more time, more money, more ingredients. So if it doesn't work out, that's a huge bummer. Next, if you want to make multiple batches of ice cream, you have to refreeze the ice cream bowl every single time versus the Ninja Creamy where you only have to just freeze your pie and you can use the machine as many times as you want back to back and it's totally fine. So for example, if I wanted to make a large batch of strawberry ice cream and then also a large batch of mint chocolate chip ice cream, I'd have to wait like a couple days in order to get both of those batches done because they both need to freeze, process, freeze again, process, and it's just kind of a hassle. This isn't the case with my specific ice cream maker, but some ice cream makers you have to buy salt or other product or tools for, and that's just kind of annoying if you have to like keep buying stuff to use an ice cream maker. Lastly, and I know I've said this a million times, but it's just a lot of step 
steps in order to make ice cream. Just way too many. Honestly, like having to freeze it, make the base, chill it, churn it, freeze it again. It's just way too many steps. And I think that's just one of the reasons why I just don't use this appliance very much. Now let's talk about some of the cons as far as the Ninja Creamy goes. This list is actually much shorter, so don't worry. So the first con is that there is a slight learning curve. Just like with any appliance, you have to kind of learn how to use it, but it's really, really simple. So I don't think that's a huge con. Just read the owner's manual, watch my videos, and you'll be totally set. There's really not a ton of things that can go wrong. So just make sure to watch my video on the top Ninja Creamy mistakes. I'll link that here. And like watch that video and you'll be totally fine. Okay, next is that you have to freeze your pints and kind of plan ahead. But I mean, this is kind of to be expected because it has to freeze at some point. And so it's just a tiny bit annoying that you have to wait 24 hours in order to process your pints. But I mean, I get it, it's fine because it's like frozen, it has to freeze at some point, but you do have to plan ahead and that might be a tiny bit of a con. Next, we've talked about this too, is that it does cost more. It costs between 150 to a little over $200 and that is a pretty pricey appliance in my opinion for something that yes it makes different types of ice creams but at the end of the day it is an ice cream maker but like I said if you have dietary restrictions or if you have a love for cooking and experimenting it's really fun and it's very easy it's simple it's small I think the pros definitely outweigh the cons on this one all right the last con to the Ninja Creamy is that you do have to purchase multiple pints I think in order to have like a really good experience using the Ninja Ninja Creamy. So the Ninja Creamy does come with a couple pints, but not enough in order to like try a lot of different things, especially if you have them already stowed in the freezer and you wanna make something new, you definitely wanna have several pints. And so you have to buy them and they're not super cheap, but that is a con because I mean, it's not a super cheap appliance. And there you have it, the pros and cons of both the Cuisinart ice cream maker and the Ninja Creamy. I think both of them have their place and I'm still going to keep both of them, but I hope that that helped you kind of make an educated decision if you are going between the two. Thanks so much for watching and watch this Ninja Creamy video next and I'll see you on the next one. Bye.